today's topic is on writing equations writing equations okay so to write an equation you uh, you're gonna end up using this form here that I'm going to show you right now every equation that we write is going to be written in the form y equals m x plus b every equation that we write will be written in this form y equals m x plus b so we're going to substitute into m we're going to substitute into b all right so every equation today's topic is on writing equations Every equation we write will be written in that form. Y is equal to mx plus b. That's called slope-intercept form. All right, let's take a look. But before we take a look, I want to talk to you. As you substitute into this equation, the slope-intercept equation, y is equal to mx plus b, it's going to be very important that you find the slope first. So I thought that what we could do is go through a little exercise where we just find the slope a lot of times. Let's take a look. All right, here we go. So, the slope, another way to, uh, this is a slope calculations worksheet. So, the formula for slope is y, is slope is equal to y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. That's the formula that you're going to use. Uh-oh, not big enough. All right, not big enough. All right, so y is equal to, uh, slope is equal to y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. All right, so... Another way to think about slope is rise over run. Remember that. How far are you going up over how far are you going over? Rise over run. So here we go. Let's call this x1, y1. That's uh, x value. The first value is always an x value. Let's call it x2. The second value is always a y value. Uh, so x2, y2. You could also, if you like, you could also call that x2, y2, x1, y1 if you want it. So all you're doing is substituting each of these values into the slope equation. All right, so we have y2, which is negative 8, minus, minus y1, which is 4, y1 is 4, over x2, which is 5, minus, bring down a minus sign, x1, which is a negative 3. So this minus came from the formula. And this negative came from the number negative 3. You end up with negative 8 minus 4, which is a negative 12, over 5 minus a negative 3, which is 8. And you simplify that to be, you divide each of these by 4, you get negative 3 halves after you simplify the fraction. You found the slope. I want to do a lot of those. And if you do not understand what I just did, I want you to call in and ask a question. Let's do another one. Let's find the slope of these two points. Don't forget slope means rise over run. The slope equation is y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. All right, again, let's label. Let's call this x1, y1. Let's call this x2, y2. You substitute in y2, which is 8, minus y1, which we labeled negative 2, over x2 x2, which is negative 4, minus x1, which is 6. Now you end up with 8 minus a negative 2, which is 10, over negative 4 minus a negative 6, which is negative 10. You simplify the fraction, you get negative 1. We have just calculated the slope for two different problems. It's very easy to make a silly mistake. All right, so be careful. No silly mistakes. Don't forget to bring the negative sign down, and then we'll all be okay. Let's look at one more problem where you calculate the slope. When you're writing equations, when you're writing equations, it's very important that you find the slope. All right, here we go. Let's look at one more. All right, so let's look at uh, this one here. Let's jump down to number four. All right, let's find the slope of this point here. All right, or actually, let's do number six. All right, number six. So let's label it. Let's call this x2, y2. I, I just want to make it clear, uh oh, let's call it x2, y2. I just want to make it clear that in the previous problems, we called this point 1, that point 1. We can call this point 2, x2, y2. Let's call this x1, y1. All right, so let's use the same formula. The slope is the change in the y, y2 minus y1, over x2 minus x1, 
All right, so it's a rise over the run. It's a change in y's over the change in x. All right, so we have y2, which is negative 3, minus y1, which is another negative 3, over x2, which is 3, minus, bring the minus over, minus x1, which is 4. You end up with a negative 3 minus a negative 3. Something minus itself will always be 0 over negative 1. Simplified to 0. The slope there is 0. We've just calculated the slope for three different problems. Finding the slope is very important to writing an equation. Call in at 312-738-1060 if I have done anything that's not clear. All right, let's take a look. So today's topic, as I've said a couple times already, is about writing an equation. Writing an equation. All right, so now what we're going to do is look at a couple of problems where we want you to write the equation of the lines given. Let's take a look. Let's take a look. So what we've got is you'll be given a problem like this. I don't know if you can see that. Boy, I don't know if these numbers are large enough. Let's try to zoom in a little bit, see if we can... Oh, boy. Uh, that's the best I can do. That's the best I can do. This is a number one. That's a number two. That's a number three. I'm sorry it's not as clear. I'll do a better job next week. All right, so this is a point. This is a point four, three. That's the point four, four, three. Hopefully you can see that. And then this is the point on the x axis, on the, the, the x value of this point is negative 4, 1. All right, negative 4, 1. So now they want you to write the equation of this line. I told you earlier that when writing equation, what you're going to do is substitute into this formula. So to find the slope first, and then you're going to have to substitute in there, and then you'll have the equation of the line. All right, so let's take a look. So... What we've done already in the previous exercise, we have found the slopes using this slope equation, y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. You can also find the slope, you can also find the slope just by counting from here to here. How far do you have to travel? How far slope is rise over run. By definition, slope is rise over run. How far do you have to travel upwards to go from here? to here. Well, if you count 1, 2, you have to rise 2. How, how far do you have to go o laterally to go from here to here? Well, you go up 2 and you go over 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. You have to travel 8 laterally. You rose 2, you travel 8 laterally. The slope is 2 over 8 simplified to 1 over 4. You could have used the formula, you could have used the formula like we did previously to get 1 over 4, but it's easier just to count. One of the things we've emphasized on this show is mastery level understanding. We've just shown you two different ways of getting the slope. Mastery level understanding. If you like, we have time, you write down these points, use a formula, you'll see that you get the same answer. All right, so we're not done. We want to write the equation of a line. The first step is to find the slope which we just found to be one-fourth. Let's finish the problem. All right, so now what we're going to do, to write the equation of this line, we have y is equal to mx plus b. All right, hopefully we have enough room. So now we want to write the equation of this line here. You can use one of these points. Use one of them. Let's use this one. I don't care which one you use. Use one of them. So the y value is 3. The slope we found to be one-fourth. The x value, we're using this point here. Don't even, don't even think, don't even use this point right now. The x value is 4 plus b. So we're going to solve for b. You end up with 3 is equal to one-fourth times 4. That's 1 plus b. We're solving for that b. You're going to subtract 1 on both sides, and you're going to end up with B is 2. You just solve for B. I told you that when you write an equation, you're going to need M. We found that first to be 1 fourth. 
In fact, we showed you two different ways to get the one-fourth. We showed you two different ways to get the one-fourth. Use the slope formula, y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1, or you can just count to get the slope, all right? So now you've got b, so you substitute in the m here, you substitute in the b here, and then you have your equation. The equation of this line is y is equal to the slope. We substitute in the slope, one-fourth x plus b, which is 2. That is the equation of this line.